What is up guys? Welcome back to Electric Buzz. Today we got a very special product for you guys. A brand new bike from Free Dare, which is also a new e-bike company. A lot of exciting stuff coming, so let's get right into the video. This video is not going to be specifically about all the specs of this bike, but it's just going to be about the practicality uh, and it's going to list the features that this bike promotes that not a lot of other e-bike uh, brands are promoting. And uh, the main thing about this e-bike is definitely going to be the in-app features and the fact that they are promoting this bike as the world's first smart e-bike. So guys, right off the bat, just a quick ride test. This bike has some good, decent pickup. We've tested a lot of e-bikes on the market and the battery and the motor on this bike, although it might be very comparable, it just has a certain feel to it. It definitely feels like it's a new system. It feels like it really does know what it's doing when it comes to that pickup. And guys, I think you're gonna have a really good time getting on this e-bike because it feels like there's a little bit more power there than just a regular bicycle. Guys, this is actually the Eden model from Free Dare. And as mentioned earlier in the video, uh, the specs on this bike and what makes it stands out is all the features that it has with the smartphone. So funny story, when Free Dare shipped us one of their bikes, it was having an issue to where we were driving it. And then after about 10 minutes, it would just suddenly turn off. We thought that we were gonna have to ship the e-bike back in because of the issue. However, Free Dare was able to update the firmware and fix the issue besides the fact from wherever their location was in China. Uh, and literally the next day, we were able to drive the bike like it was brand new. So that's a crazy feature that these e-bikes have to where if you guys have issues, you don't necessarily have to ship this bike all the way back into the fulfillment center. You can actually get them fixed from the technician from your actual house, similar to what Tesla is doing with their e-vehicles. So actually within the app of the Free Dare system, you have a few features that stand out from its competitors. Uh, one of the actual features could be the security system where essentially you guys can leave this bike um, and basically lock it so that if it gets hit or somebody tries to ride with it or somebody tries to you know, knock with this bike, basically if there's any sort of movement with the bike, uh, you'll get a notification on your phone. And in addition, it also has a built-in GPS system, which means you'll always be able to see where this bike is located from the smartphone, which is really, really cool feature. You can also mark out custom routes within the app so that you guys can follow these routes and use the actual GPS that's inside of the bike to track where you're going and whatnot. Personally, I don't think it's an actual must because you already have a GPS in your phone when it comes to the GPS systems of driving the bike. However, it's a nice feature to have if the bike ever gets stolen or you just misplace where you might have parked the bike to begin with. So guys, this bike uh, has a really nice feel to it compared to some of the other e-bikes that I've tested. It's not necessarily a mountain bike. Um, it's really mainly a cruiser. So it feels really good just being able to turn it. You know, I can sit a little bit lower. I've got a nice little turn uh, uh, feature right here. And I just like the overall feel of the ride of this bike, just kind of driving it through the city. So if you're looking to buy this bike for the city, I definitely think that that's what it's made for. Um, and it does a really good job of being able to go on the street because it can really pick up when it comes to speed, but also go up on the sidewalks and be able to maneuver really quick. I mean, I got some really good turn quality right here. Feels really nice, feels like it's really built with some, some decent quality. And overall guys, I really, really, really like the feel of this bike. Okay, so what we're about to do is we're gonna do the famous speed test on the bike, see what this thing maxes out on. Um, this is a faster bike than we typically ride, so um, we'll see if Mark, our camera guy for the video, is gonna be able to uh, keep up with us on the electric skateboard. All right guys, here we go. 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. 24, 26 miles per hour, 29 miles per hour. All right, now we're starting to kind of hold steady here at 29 and it's starting to slow. I wouldn't say that there's a, a, a limiter, but we're definitely feeling it stop a little bit. Where you at, Mark? Where you guys at? Take a right right here. So, so 
Yeah, we were hitting about 30 miles per hour, right at it, about 29, uh, this thing maxed out at. I'm not sure if there was a limiter on there, but it did feel like there was some sort of resistance once we hit 30 miles per hour. So this bike is a very, very capable e-bike. All right, guys, so let's talk about the style of this bike. Um, I myself do like the bike. It's not necessarily my style 100%. I prefer a more aggressive look, something like a mountain bike, something like a Be Cool, uh, something like a Super 73. So this is definitely not my style bike. However, it definitely does have a category and a fit for a certain type of criteria. So if you guys like the look of the bike, definitely take a look. And I just wanted to show you guys, it has a nice little basket here. You could put a book bag, you could put a purse, you could put something in here, maybe a bag of food if you're driving around the city, which is a really nice feature. Um, and then back here, you guys have rack right here where you're able to maybe tie on a cooler, tie on a backpack, um, or even add extra seating if that's something you guys wanted to do. So as far as mod outs on this bike, definitely possible. Really quick, I just wanna show you guys the screen. The operating system of this bike and the screen uh, looks very, very nice. It looks very futuristic. And you can tell it's up to date with the 2023 models. You know, every year these things get better and better. The operating systems get better. The look gets better. And this just has an overall great feel. So one thing I did want to mention about the bike is it is very similar to a lot of other e-bikes on the market. What you'll find uh, on a lot of e-bikes when you guys are purchasing them online is that they all use some very similar components. For example, the shifter, this thing is on almost every single e-bike that we own, the same product, the same look. Um, the brakes are very similar to all the other ones we own. And the battery is very similar as well. So um, what's gonna make you guys want to buy this free dare compared to a lot of other bikes on the market like Velo Wave or any of these Chinese brands? Um, I would have to personally say it's definitely the ability to connect this to your smartphone have these smartphone capabilities, have this anti-theft, be able to check the system through the smartphone, make sure everything's working properly, and just have the overall smart features that come with this bike. So we're in the parking lot here in Fort Lauderdale, um, and I'm just gonna do some loops on this bike of turning at speeds a little bit safer rather than on the road. Unfortunately, me and Mark had a little bit of an accident the other day riding bikes a little bit too quick. We almost hit a car, so we like to do it in a safer area. But yeah, this thing, wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm hitting 20 miles per hour. I'm turning this thing. Turn radius feels very, very nice. Brakes are a little, um, the brakes are not quite as aggressive as I would prefer to be going at these high speeds. One more loop, little loop right here. We're gonna do a nice little sharp turn right here. One more sharp turn right here. Let's see what we got. Very nice, very nice, very nice sharp turn. Boom, back to the right. Now we're going into the left. One more sharp turn, sharp turn, sharp turn. Wow. Yeah, having a really good time on this e-bike. Handles very, very nice. So let's go take this thing onto the streets, see what it's got to offer. So one thing I wanted to test out on this is the suspension. It's a very common suspension. Um, I see a lot of e-bikes having a very similar one with the preload and everything. But, um, you know, it's, it, it, honestly, it's nothing special, guys. It's just, it's just a regular suspension that a lot of other e-bikes offer. So I'm not gonna go uh, too in-depth in the suspension, but I'm sure you guys can look up the specs online if needed. I got the free deer app here, guys. So I just wanted to walk you guys through it. I'm not sure if you can be able to see it very well, but you see I got all my the e-bikes e that I have here, but you can actually turn on and off the bike through the app here. You can find the bike as mentioned earlier in the video. You can protect it from theft to where if someone knocks it, it calls your phone or it sends you a notification. Um, but I think the coolest feature here is called the bike detection, okay? So, what the bike detection does is you can check the controlling system, you can check the brake levers, you can check the throttle, you can check the speed sensor, the power assist sensor, and the hub motor all through the app. So the way that works is you have all them here, you can click on them, it'll scan it, 
make sure that it's fully operational. And then once it scans it, it'll tell you if it's ready and it's good to go. So that before you take this thing out on the roads, before you drive it through you know, the cities and through cars, you can really check the safety and you can make sure that the bike is properly installed and that everything is working correctly. To read out all of the specs, this is a 750 watt motor peaking at 1000 watts. It, it's a Bafang motor. It has a Samsung battery up to 150 kilometers as far as distance. Um, and then the big thing is the smart app and the anti-theft system, which is including a GPS in this bike. So if anybody steals it, they're not gonna get very far, or at least they're not gonna be able to hide themselves from wherever they have taken the bike. You can pick up one of these bikes starting at $1,300, which is honestly a great price. You can really only pre-order these bikes through their Indiegogo. They have not actually hit the legitimate market yet, but they will be released very, very soon. So we'll be looking out for that competitive price that they'll be launching this bike at. But so far, guys, I'm very impressed with the Free Dare. I like how it rides, I like how it feels, um, and I really like the anti-theft and smart app features that have been included with this bike. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about the Free Dare bike or any of the other products that we have reviewed on the eBuzz channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. We're more than happy to give you guys all of our feedback. And as always, guys, peace out.